When you take a look at Ted Bundy, America's most notorious serial killer, you're given the groundwork to understanding what a psychopath looks like. A proficient liar, known to bask in his lack of moral guilt. It was as though he felt nothing towards those who he'd been accused and later convicted of harming or killing. How can Ted Bundy and the psychology of what he did and how he acted be studied and understood today? A better understanding of psychology allows us, a modern audience, a fuller look into the dark triad personality that led to these killings. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and in today's video, let's get a better look into this notorious psychopath, Ted Bundy. Because of Ted Bundy's proficiency at lying, and the skill with which he maintained those lies, the identities of all the people he killed may never be known. What we do know is that before his execution in a Florida prison in 1989, he had admitted to gruesomely murdering at least 30 young women in the 1970s. Ted Bundy was one of America's first and certainly the most prolific and notorious serial killers on record. What might have triggered such an outburst? According to psychologist Al Carlisle, who interviewed and evaluated Bundy when he was incarcerated in Utah State Prison on kidnapping charges in 1976, before the danger the man posed to society was known, it likely began with a childhood humiliation that prompted him to develop a separate identity in which he felt more powerful. According to Carlyle, who wrote about the event in Ted Bundy's Violent Mind, the 1976 psychological assessment of Ted Bundy, Bundy compartmentalized the violent and nonviolent aspects of his psyche. Carlyle told Psychology Today in 2017 that it's something that everyone does to some extent. It's a complex state of mind on a continuum that can vary from a healthy level, such as an actor who rehearses a script so thoroughly that he gets a strong sense of being that person when presenting that role on stage or in film. A very damaging process that can result in violence is at the other extreme of the continuum. Bundy is a textbook psychopath, capable of deceiving everyone around him with his face of rationality. Bundy used his good looks and suave demeanor to persuade passers-by that he was a devout law student, as well as pretending injury to gain sympathy from his female prey. Bundy was reportedly interviewed by psychologist Elizabeth Loftus, who claimed she anticipated him to be brooding dark, but instead found him adorable. Society wants to believe it can identify terrible individuals, bad or destructive people, but that's not practical. Bundy said after his arrest, stereotypes do not exist. Bundy's mind was twisted, and he was driven by morbid and horrible cravings, according to the facts. He would frequently have sex with their corpses after abducting them. Bundy was also a skilled assassin, leaving little evidence in the wake of his kidnappings and deaths, which allowed his killings to go on for so long, as people overlooked him in their search for the true killer. He brags about his complete lack of empathy for his victims, claiming, I'm the most cold-hearted son of a bitch you'll ever meet. One of the hallmarks of psychopathy.